What's up, guys? Here we go again, car talk. The topic of the day is the number one mistake you should be making. This one tip could probably propel your progress three years farther down the road just because you made this mistake consistently. And I know this is counterintuitive, so stay with me. I'm gonna break it down. Now first, if you have not, make sure you go back and listen to yesterday's video. Is it worth it being successful might not make you happy. What does that even mean? Go back and watch yesterday's video. Is it worth it? It is another car talk. And it could be, I believe, for those who actually take the time to watch yesterday's video, I believe it is one of the most helpful I have done to date. Of course, today's video will be extremely helpful. Also, yesterday's video focused a lot on your lifestyle, on your decisions, on your goals, on your motivation, on your expectation, and what I feel will help bring a level of satisfaction to your work and to your life, allowing you to really navigate the work-play balance so you can enjoy all the spoils of your hard work. But today's video, the number one mistake you should be making is going to highlight the most often overlooked aspect of being successful. Did I just say successful? Successful. Excessful is a term that I use from time to time. I'll have to do the playback and see, but regardless, now, we all know that making mistakes is integral to progress. We must make mistakes in the pursuit of perfection because we're not just going to hit a home run the first time we step up to the plate, nor will we hit a home run every time we step up to the plate. Each and every time we attempt something, we're likely going to fail. But this video is very specific to exercise, to building muscle, to getting toned, sculpting, building strength, really creating that banging body you in your mind want to have and want to show off. Now, how do we do this? Now, during the course of my now 30 plus year career as an athlete, as a gym goer, goer, as a trainee, as a trainer, 30 plus years in the fitness game has taught me one valuable thing. Well, many valuable things. But one of the most valuable things it has taught me is that there is no clear path to success. There is no one best program for gains. And there's an old saying in the fitness world, the best program is the one you are currently not doing. Well, what does that mean? That means variety is key with regards to stimulating adaptation. That's the whole point of exercising, is adaptation. If we're not adapting, we're not progressing, we're not getting stronger, we're not building more muscle, we're not losing body fat. It is the stimuli to which our body must adapt that brings about the changes we are trying to cultivate. Now, making mistakes is integral to this process. And I should say, we want to hedge our mistakes to those mistakes that are not risking injury, not risking our health or safety. But at the same time, you have to get out there and try new things and do new things and push yourself. And yes, fail. Test out your hypothesis. Oftentimes to realize you didn't know what you were talking about. 
during the course of my career, I have tried literally every possible training program you could think of. And to name a few, push-pull, push-pull legs, five-by-five, five, bro splits, GVT. Um, I haven't tried occlusion training, blood restriction, blood flow restriction. I mean, eh, that wasn't one of my things. I mean, traditional linear powerlifting splits, um, undulating periodization, the conjugate method, I mean, the list goes on and on. I mean, and, and during that time, you know, training, you know, 20 rep sets and breathing squats and, you know, the, the, the bodybuilding, you know, pumping, you know, fluff and pump style training, compensatory acceleration. I mean, I, if I sit here, I could probably come up with at least 50 different dedicated training systems that I followed. Now, during that period of time, I made connections to learn what actually works and what does not work. And even though some of these training systems and the majority of these training systems did not work, certainly not nearly as well as a select few of the others, but there would, were good points to pull out of them. And it's those good points that I'm talking about that will lead to your ultimate success. So again, the number one mistake that you're making is likely not intentionally risking mistakes and putting yourself out there. And you might say, well, Dolce, wait a minute. We come to your channel so we learn exactly what to do so we can just do what you say and we'll get gains, all the gains, oh, give me all the gains, yum, 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 I want all the gains. And that's true, I get it. And we provide for you best practices here. But also, in this concept that I'm sharing with you is the secret to being successful. Now there's certain training systems that you right now, and many people are like, man, I don't know about that push-pull split, I don't wanna do that. Like Dolce, you're not as big as Kai Green. Kai Green trains his biceps once a week. Kai Green trains his upper chest once a week, <laughs> like or, or whoever it might be. And right now, you might be nervous to not try a full body every other day. Well, Dolce, that makes no sense. I mean, how am I gonna gain more muscle and more strength by only training three days a week while not understanding the tenets of muscle protein synthesis and the adapt adaption or adaptation rate of your body in response to this type of stimuli. So don't be afraid to make mistakes with regards to your training. Don't be afraid to try something new. And I say nearly every video is everything I say, please test out what I say. Don't take what I say as being true. Listen to what I say, run it through your own internal filter, do additional research to see if what I'm saying at least has merit evidence-based and then determine is it right for you and then then maybe test out your own theories and in that you will find your greatest success a lot of philosophy discussed on this channel but that's necessary for evolution that's necessary for your improvement and that's what we're trying to do here we're trying to make sure that you adapt that you grow, that you constantly change, that you are equipped to make all the gains that you deserve. That's what this is about. So, with that being said, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to try something new. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to add a new exercise you've never done before. Don't be afraid to change that rep range you've been following for the last six, eight, 12 months. Don't be afraid to shake it up a little bit and see what works. Test out your hypothesis, extend yourself. Now remember, go back over the last week and see some of the videos that we've put out. Before you click off and you go down another wormhole or a rabbit hole, 
definitely. Check out yesterday's video, Is It Worth It? It's definitely worth it for you to watch. Please check, take a look at that. Look at the other videos that we've dropped this week. Most of the videos that we have are quick. The longer videos have timestamps, thanks to Dave B. So just scroll through the timestamps and see. We cover, on my live Q&As, guys and gals, I do at least two live Q&As a week in the Super Chat. Those live Q&As, I cover a ton of information where I answer your questions and questions just like the ones that you have in real time honest, actionable, evidence-based information. So you don't have to watch the whole 20 or 40 or 60 minute video. Just go through the timestamps, again, thanks to Dave B, and click on what you're looking for. What is the best type of whey protein? How do I burn that lower belly body fat? What is the best exercise to improve the lockout of my bench press? Is HIT better than LIS? Fat burning supplements that are WADA or USADA approved how to lose 10 pounds in one hour. I mean, all of this stuff is covered inside these videos. So definitely take a look at that. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. I appreciate every one of you subscribers here. Thank you so much. Click on that little bell for notifications so when you know, these you know when these videos come out. Also, the live chats are typically impromptu. So at least you'll get notified when we do the live chats. I answer every single question for free every single time, you might as well know that it's happening. And <laughs> until next time, boom.